Uh, uh, greetings and welcome to the online lecture two uh, on unit one, that is advanced rapid compression cycle. Uh, today's lecture, we are going to uh, discuss the types of uh, transcritical cycles. Uh, so only there are six types of transcritical cycles. Uh, so in this lecture, we will discuss uh, three of them. Previous lecture, we have discussed uh, the basic transcritical cycle, uh, its construction working, uh, and also the drawback, the main drawback of transcritical cycle, because in transcritical cycle, there are heavy expansion losses. And to overcome these expansion losses, the cycle needs modifications. So this, there are uh, six modifications suggested by uh, different researchers. Uh, today's lecture, we'll discuss uh, three of them, and in the next lecture, we'll discuss the remaining three. The first modification, that is uh, with the use of internal heat exchanger uh, in the cycle. Uh, so in the transcritical cycle, if we use uh, internal heat exchanger, uh, so uh, we can shift the point four. So this is a conventional transcritical cycle. If it expands from, uh, without internal heat exchangers, so the point is somewhere here. And with the internal heat exchanger, the point is shifted to point number six. So it's slightly shifted. And because of this shifting of the point, there is almost uh, uh, nine to 10% uh, increase in COP happens. So this is internal heat exchanger uh, cycle. That is like CO2 cycle. So we'll discuss uh, this particular cycle in detail. So this is a schematic layout of uh, internal heat exchanger type CO2 transcritical cycle. So point number one, we start from point number one. So point number one is not here in this case in one saturation curve, it's slightly in the superheated zone. So one to two is the compression, uh, then two and three lie at the same point. So three to four is the uh, gas cooling process with the help of certain cooling medium, the gas is being cooled from two to three, sorry, three to four. Uh, then four to four dash is remains same. Uh, the, considering the no heat leak or no heat gain due in this piping, assuming, so four dash. Uh, so four dash to four double dash, where the heat is exchanged with the uh, other fluid. And this particular, this is a hot line and this is a cold line. So this particular line, this is we can call it as a liquid line, a partially liquid line in condensation process. But here it is not called as a liquid line. Here it is a, a gas line, high pressure gas line. So this high pressure gas line pulls the low pressure gas line that is coming out from the evaporator. So obviously uh, the temperature drop happens in uh, a gas cooling line that is for Four dash to four double dash, uh, then four double dash and five they are close. Then five to six is the expansion. Uh, six and seven coincides. So no losses we are considered here. But practically there are some heat gain and heat loss of this. So seven to eight uh, that is called as a evaporation process, and then eight it enters into the uh, heat exchanger eight dash. And eight dash to eight double dash, where it against the heat from uh, the gas cooling line, the high pressure gas line, this is low pressure gas line. So in this way, uh, if we put uh, the heat exchanger, internal heat exchanger, in between the cycle, uh, so like you already learned, that is uh, liquid vapor heat exchanger used uh, in vapor compression cycle. So here, the same type of heat exchanger, if it is used in between, it increases uh, the a COP by almost 10%. Uh, so with additional of only a heat exchanger cost, uh, we can increase this COP. So five to 10% uh, increase happens in this case when we use internal heat exchanger. So in the internal heat exchanger, the heat of hot gas line is given to heat uh, to the uh, low pressure, low temperature or low pressure line. So here the heat exchanger, so uh, the suction line becomes superheating and it is slightly, uh, we cannot call it as uh, subcooling, it is called as a desuperating, we can say. It is slightly desuperating. So this way, uh, the COP improvement is around 10%. So 
this modification where with the help of a single heat exchanger uh, we can improve the cop of the transcritical cycle now, the second modification uh, the instead of uh, expansion wall if the expander is used uh, like in a conditioning system uh, uh, air refrigeration system expander is used uh, but when we use expander uh, then it is essentially the compressor uh, should be a centrifugal or axial flow compressor so here the compressor and turbine are coupled to each other uh, so if you again start from point number one one to two is normal compression process this is one to two compression. two to three is a gas cooling process and three to four instead of in previous cycles instead of isoenthalpic expansion if uh, we expand the gas isentropically in the expander device so expander is also uh, helps to generate some power and that power is given to the compressor and uh, uh, so additional power uh, additional work is recovered so that's why it is called as expansion with work recovery so three to four is the expansion uh, in the uh, expander and four to one is the normal uh, evaporation process so only in this case expansion device is uh, replaced by expander and with the help of that uh, we get additional power as well as the uh, the expansion expansion process isentropic expansion process is always an uh, inclined line so automatically this is isenthalpic expansion that is vertical line so the point is automatically shifting towards the left so it saves the or it increases the refilling effect but in addition to that it also saves the work also so obviously the increase of cop is uh, marginal in this case almost 35 percent cop can be improved can be increased in this particular case but there are some practical difficulties because it handles uh, partly liquid also uh, so the special type of expander is required uh, uh, so so that uh, it should not uh, uh, causes the expansion losses i'm not saying expansion losses but because due to that there is slightly uh, the liquid is if the liquid is present liquid is incompressible so it it, uh, it is it, it is not helping to expand the refrigerant so uh, that's why uh, uh, this particle has some practical difficulties but uh, these difficulties if we overcome definitely uh, it gives a very good uh, improvement in co2 around the uh, person so this is a expansion type co2 transcritical cycle where the expander is used or the where the expander is replaced by uh, oh sorry uh, expansion device is replaced by expander so this is the thermodynamic cycle of it the third cycle that is multi staging <laughs> multi staging is especially used if uh, the uh, system demands higher uh, the temperature uh, limits uh, mainly if the co2 refrigeration system is to be used for refrigeration application because refrigeration application handles the highest uh, higher temperature limits than air conditioning applications so in that case uh, uh, the multi staging is used or due to multi staging also the point it helps to shift the point towards the left again if you see uh, this is the point arises in simple system so that point is shift, shifting towards left that is point number 6 so it becomes so again uh, due to the shifting uh, there is almost 25% uh, saving of the energy or say 25% increase of the coefficient of performance and due to multi staging also it saves the energy as well so that's why the the significant improvement in cop happens in this case also uh, so like our conventional uh, multi stage system uh, uh, this system works only in that uh, in that in this case uh, the condenser is replaced by gas cooler that's it otherwise uh, it is same again we start from point number 1 so one to two is the compression in first stage. One to two is compression in first stage. Then eight to nine is the compression in second stage. Uh, then nine to three is a gas cooling process uh, that happens in gas cooler. Then three to four, the partial expansion of refrigerant up to intermediate pressure. So at point four. So at point four, then it enters into the flash chamber. So flash chamber separates liquid and vapor. So only vapor is extracted at 0.7 and the liquid is extracted at 0.5. So 7 that is saturated vapor. So this saturated vapor, it mixes with superated vapor 2 and the mixing point is point number 8. So this is mixing point. Uh, then at 0.5, the only liquid is uh, 
being expanded in the next stage. So five to eight is the expansion of the liquid uh, till evapor uh, evaporating pressure or evaporating temperature. So uh, uh, five to six, we can say uh, five to six and six to one, uh, that is evaporation in the evaporator. So uh, this completes the cycle. So this is a multi-stage uh, uh, CO2 refrigeration cycle. In that case, the two compressors are used uh, and uh, it also reduces the compression work because instead of compressing the whole refrigerator in single stage, if we compress the refrigerator in two stages, it reduces the uh, work as well. And also the point four is shifting towards the left. So it increases the refilling effect. So the cumulative effect it increases both work uh, uh, both positive effects, that is, increases refilling effect as well as reducing the work input. So the stimulative effect uh, leads to increase the COP by 25%. Uh, so uh, this is a multi-stage cycle with two-stage compression system. So here we can use uh, uh, mainly used if uh, for refrigeration refrigeration application where the temperature limits are more. This is the third cycle or the third modification we can see. So where the improvement is uh, substantial, that is 25%. Uh, so at the end of this particular topic, you should be able to explain uh, the construction working of uh, internal heat exchanger type CO2 cycle, which improves the COP. Uh, also, uh, you should be able to explain the expansion type CO2 cycle and why uh, it has the highest uh, increase in COP amongst uh, other two. And, uh, uh, the third one that is explain the multi-staging cycle. What is the specific application of multi-staging cycle when we go for multi-staging and how it improves the COP as well. Uh, so the remaining uh, three types we will cover in next lecture. Uh, thank you very much.